Hello buddy, welcome back. I'm the Strategy Professor. Let's go ahead and get in here. Um, this is not a siege. Let me uh, let me encircle. Put him on his put him on his horse, and then we'll siege. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so I have not played on this campaign. I know I've been releasing episodes steadily. I recorded a ton in advance, but I haven't played on this campaign in at least two weeks, and it's a really complicated <laughs> situation right now. We have, like, uh, three different fronts, basically, with five different lords. So we are, you know, down here with Archeon kind of going solo, trying to rampage everybody, and then we have Sartorial. I did watch the end of the last episode to try to catch up. We have Sartorial near Vampire Counts is trying to clean up the dwarves, and then we have um, Colic and company over in Bretonia trying to clean up as well. So we're trying to move as fast as we can to, you know, advance this campaign. Someone asked me earlier, why do I have, why I have, like, so many heroes in an army? And the answer is, they're just very efficient, and I can also, like, afford them, and they only take one turn to hire. You can put a bunch of items on them as well. My God's call. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. It's just like, you can just stack them full of items. I think we can just almost right-click these guys, honestly. Um, so, I might be a little rusty as well, because I haven't really played much Total War in the last couple weeks. We had Team Fight Tactics launch for League of Legends. Um, and I had a bunch of rec episodes recorded, so hopefully I'm not too rusty here. I've had a lot of um, inquiries about people interested in sponsoring some campaigns. That's great. We are going to have, um, after this, we have a Wizardman campaign coming up. And then we have a Dwarf campaign and an Elf campaign. So I'm trying to get through these and the Norska as fast as I can. I mean, that's one thing that I sort of mentioned before. I know everybody likes the kind of the fantasy or the idea of doing a full campaign. I get asked that constantly. Why don't I ever finish campaigns? But the reality of the situation is, is it does take months, months to finish a full campaign if you do one episode per day release and I just can't release more than that um it's, it just like whenever I release multiple episodes per day people just can only watch so much you know like yeah I could release like five episodes a day or something but the thing is people just aren't gonna watch that um because it's uh, it cannibalizes from other episodes. I mean, like people will come in and they'll be like, "Okay, I've got my lunch break. I can watch one episode of Strategy Professor today, maybe two. And that's why I like releasing you know, just a ton of extra stuff. Um, it's just kind of bad for viewership. Because also YouTube, as I think I've said in past episodes, a lot." Um, they really heavily favor like videos that have a very large percentage watch, and so you know, it's it's just a lot worse if you have two videos that have like you know, a thousand people watching them than like one video that has like two thousand people watching. The way that YouTube has kind of decided they want to run the, their show. So. And I'm sure they have lots of good research. You know, their job is just to keep people on the platform watching as much as possible. So I'm sure they know what they're doing. It just doesn't favor that type of campaign. They're just gonna say, yeah, I'm watching. I guess they're afraid they're gonna get flanked or something. Oh, 
but anyway, so it's cool. I like doing whole campaigns. The issue is, it's just like the viewership does fall off over time, and it doesn't allow me to go on and do different, you know, campaigns. So that's why, you know, if we get people that like really want it, you know, they are donating a lot to help support the channel. I can do it. That's why, under like normal circumstances, um, I don't know. because it's, it's people just want to see other types of. Content, you know, chaos is cool and everything, but you know, there's people that want to watch the Wood Elf campaign. There's people that want to watch like a Wizardman campaign. There's people that want to watch um, you know, almost every faction. There's a lot of interest in people wanting to watch it. So, so they should be coming by the main focus. And by the way, I've had some people talk about the end turn times and stuff. They're like, man, it takes so long, especially in game with end turn times. And that is true. Uh, it does take a while. Um, I'm going to try, maybe on the next campaign, I'll try that mod that crushes end turn timers. I didn't want to do that because it gets rid of some of the minor factions. But realistically, we're not going to fight minor factions on the other end of the world anyways. They're already going to be consumed by the time we get there. So... We could try it out, and then also, um, you can set it, you can set YouTube, if you go down to the little cog, to speed up, so you can do like 2x speed through the intern timers if you want. There's probably a hotkey for doing that, I'm not really sure what it is, but if you just go down to like video settings, um, you can do this with all of my videos too, I know I create long videos, but you can set it to like 1.25, just to speed it up a little bit faster, so that would take it from like, you know, an hour long video to like a 45 minute video, I think. Um, so yeah, you can set that up, but definitely during the intern timers, you can speed that up as much as you want. I do try to talk about stuff during the intern timers as much as I can, but, um, you know, especially with the Horde faction, there's going to be a lot of intern timers because we're just not doing a lot of city management. Although we're doing a lot more than you used to in the base campaign. Um, crap, I didn't see who I need to burn this. Well, you can't ever really go wrong, as I always say, with cane. Or corn, rather. Okay. I think I've done all, micromanaged all the items. I don't know if I want to go through all that. I guess we can put something on these guys. When you get so many armies and heroes and things going through, it kind of gets crazy. Was that the correct guess? No, I have 38. Because <laughs> I, I always forget to look. So I have like 38. Okay, so no more corn on him. Um, okay, we've got Slanesh, which is important too. I mean, we don't really need Nurgle, I don't think, do we? Probably not. We have like a million pop right now. I guess if we wanted to like tech it, but we're not gonna do that. Maybe demonic forge. I mean, the troll building might be all right, but I'm gonna put most of my trolls on the other person. So, what? Whatever. That's fine. Okay, who else do we have here? Uh, okay, so Archeon's done. Okay, now this is the more complicated. This is like the actual pretty complicated situation here. My lady will not allow. Um, come. Okay, so these guys hold Marienburg. You that army's not me. a threat. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking unit. Okay, so they're taking over all of this stuff. My victory objective is... Okay, we've killed Empire. Lothurn, Dwarfs, Bretonia. Um, I want this. Do Wood Elves actually like us? Seems really weird if they do. No, they do not. Although it's getting better. This is one of the um, the special towns. I would really like to get that. Um, it would be nice not to fight the Wood Elves. I need to finish off Bretonia here. 
And then maybe just move over into Lothurn. I mean, we don't have to have that, although it'd be nice. Okay, so... I think sending him with this guy is probably the best way to go. He's He has fire magic. Now. This guy has a good fire wizard. Okay, they all have good fire wizards. This guy is just kind of extra, I guess. We're just trying to level him up. Um... I am a lord of Britannia. Never. Interesting. All right, so our claws probably gonna go down. Right, let's just send him up here first. I think he can soul it. Now, lightning strike is pretty important to understand. I think he has he has lightning strike. Because we might run into like a scary 20 stack up here in theory. He has lightning strike also. Okay. I can't remember who can recruit what either. Go for dragon ogres, or probably not. I mean, I don't really need these knights either, but this would give us extra recruitment capacity on these dragon ogres if we wanted that. We have pretty decent money, too, although it's expensive to buy these. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Honey, what can you turn that down a little bit? Okay, uh, anyway, I think we should be able to take this. Now, what do we need? Okay, we've got Kane, Slanesh, Zench. Do we need Nurgle on him? Okay, we need still need him to grow up to get this. This is the most important thing. It gives us extra capacity for the Chosen. This and the Dragon building. And we could get that. It's important for him. Extra corn capacity might that might be all right. It's super expensive. No. Right, okay, let's go and fight it. Bring them to me. So we probably need Nurgle. Storm crusher yards. What are these? Knights errand. Forty, fifty. How much bonus versus large do I have? This is a new seal faith unit. Five. Okay, so not much versus large. Okay, so these are just like more elite versions of the foot squires. Okay. Pretty decent squad, but I think we probably take them. Um. I guess we just climb up the walls. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, once again, I'm trying to, like, get into the mentality of this campaign. It's always tough when you, like, you come back in and you haven't played a campaign in a while. But yeah, we'll try to speed it up in the future. Um, I'm going to see if, I think I minimized, like, I can look and see, like, intern timer, speed it up, minimize, like, sh showing the movements or whatever, and do the turn crusher and see if we can get through that a little bit faster. I'm trying to, like, save as much exposition, talking, and things like that for, like, load screens and interns as much as I can to save a little bit of time as well. I mean, sometimes I, like, legit have to make decisions, though, and sometimes they're not always obvious. Oh, Finch's will. 
So I try to play the most optimal game I can. I mean, I could try, I guess, maybe to do it a lot faster and just mess, like, more stuff up. Just doing it quickly, but... What are these? They're like trebuchet shots? Oh my god. What is that? Oh, those are the poison shots. Okay. Oh, that was Okay, we don't have a healer guy with this one. So So we do need more like champion dudes or whatever. So little gate damage. Move some of those dudes out of the way. Like, Colic's gotta get in there and get some hits in. Actually, those dudes are heavily armored. I'm used to Bretonia like not being that heavily armored, but they are. Like, the fire is not. It's doing uh, pretty good damage against the foot squires. You taking a smoke break, Holy? Come on, bro. So I need to have the uh, the lightning dudes attack them so that they charge up their lightning. Oh, they let some of them in. That's... They're so spread out. Definitely use more healer dudes. Everyone. 
Is that the green knight? Green knight. Okay. So he hurts. We gotta watch him. Careful. My God's call. Time to despoil. I'll pluck your soul from your bones. Huh? Tremble, mortals. She's giggling. Chosen there. Sorry, lads. Their souls. Going. Moving. Going. <clears throat> Move fast. Choose. <sighs> Aren't they all running yet? Come on. What are we gonna burn? Okay, so we didn't need corn. I think it was Durgle, right? Ugh. Oh, Nergali. She's having herself a giggle. My daughter has been liking the giggle a lot more. Oh, also, I have started streaming on Twitch. I'm not currently doing any Total War content on Twitch, but um, in the future, you know, I might do some multiplayer battles or if people want to see like campaigns or something maybe a couple of times a week i could do that on twitch right now i'm trying to get the um trying to get to partner so and unfortunately the total war doesn't get the most views at least as live streaming although it gets some fine views on the channel especially the earlier episodes um so in order to get to partner you have to average like 75 viewers per stream Right now I'm at like 65, so I can't pull the number down too much. Just when I tried, I tried streaming some of it on YouTube, and we'd get like 50 viewers. But on YouTube, we at the same time when I was doing that, we were averaging like 150 to 200. It's just harder to get viewers on Twitch um, if you're a smaller time streamer than it is on YouTube. But anyways, so. If you want to follow me on there, you could also come in and ask me about Total War if you want. Say, hey, I've got this question with this campaign, or what do you think about these units, or whatever. I'm more than happy to talk to you about Total War, even if I'm playing League or some other game. 
Um, but yeah, if you want to support the channel also, you can follow that, or you can sub on it if you have Twitch Prime and you're not currently, you know, using it on anything. Or if you want to switch and use it on me instead of somebody else, then you can support the channel in that way as well. But that is a new development. Um, okay, I think, based on last time, we're just going to get, just kind of beef him up a little bit. I mean, Voice of the Gods is pretty good for leadership. We have pretty high leadership to begin with. Um... He hits like a truck. I think we're just going to go with Woundmaker. He has a lot of health, too, though, so Scarred Veteran's not terrible, but I think let's go with Woundmaker here. Okay, fire. We're just going to go experienced. Oh, we can get Mark. Definitely, that's what we need. Um... Yeah, the replenishment's massive. The damage and replenishment. I guess we're gonna do Mark of Zinch. Okay, so that's done. But yeah, so check me out. You can follow. Uh, if you want to sub, you can sub on there as well. And then I will try. Let, let me know what you think. You can pop it in the Discord. You can tell me on stream. Let me know what you think. If you think there's a certain thing I could stream that you know you would like to see, or you think a lot of other people would like to see, just let me know. Okay, this one might be a little harder, but despoilers come. Um, huh? He doesn't have any champions either. Although we do have the two Zinch guys with this army. Bring ruin. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and. Since agrees, let's be about this. Handsome and lethal. Uh, okay. He. Okay, I was about to say he better be siege attacker. <laughs> you don't want to have to wait. This army is a little bit more questionable. And these are like kind of strong, but at the same time they take a lot of damage. So I might lose some of them in this fight, but whatever. We got to push forward. All right. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun on Twitch so far. I know there's been a few people that we've left behind on YouTube. Um, just to be clear also, I'm still going to release, like, it's not going to affect Total War at all. I'm still going to release one or two episodes per day of Total War. Um, you know, even though I'm switching the live streaming aspect over to Twitch. I didn't live stream Total War anyways most of the time. Like I said, there are a couple of experimental streams just to kind of see the numbers that we got. They weren't that high um, relative to the other content. But... Once I get to partner, I don't think it matters what my average numbers are, so I could actually do some lower number streams for, like, some really committed, um, you know, fans. You know, if we get, like, a lot of subs, for example, that want to um, that want to watch a stream like that, then we could do that. Do not fail me! Now! All will be despoiled. These are these are best. Chaos players. sorcerer. Flay them. Ha! Ultimate sorcerer. Yes. 
Need to actually get in close enough to drop this first, I think. There we go. And then we do. Chaos is magic. Sorcerer Lord. Then while that's going on, that's when you drop this because they take extra damage. It lowers the damage. Take this, mortals. My magic is ready. Cannons are Sorcerer's might. I go. Going! Moving fast! Lord of Magic! Let us bring about an infernal gateway! Their souls. Chaos Sorcerer. What? Who's bloody Lord? Kill me. Hailfire. For the Chaos Gods. Death. Such is will. This is the last cause. Break their souls. Chaos Sorcerer. Reality bends. How much can they summon this green knight? Dragon, like the dragon breath. <laughs> I mean, dragons are very hard to get, but like, it's it's been on the strong side. Reality bend. I mean, it's a fantasy game. Dragons should be strong. Can we just get these guys? Move off! Running! Watch 
personal command. I am champion. <laughs> Nurgle's pestilent glory! Jinchi's many glories! Bolt of change! Time to destroy her! Yeah, they have some decent I stuff. Up. At your command. <laughs> Bill fire. Okay, what? <laughs> I always forget what we need. The Zench would actually be pretty nice, the cooldown on the Zench stuff. I should just put the Zench in the main army. I don't know why I have it separate. Like, the wizard guy should just be in his own army. <clears throat> um, I think we have... We almost always have Kane. We don't particularly need Nurgle that we just looked at. Slanesh is very nice. I guess we need to make sure we have Slanesh. Let's make sure we have Slanesh. Attack! We're going to see if we can get a million gold. A million favor in this campaign. I don't know if we're going to get it or not, but... Okay. Blessed by Chaos. Monster Strength. Do we... Trolls, Giants... I guess that kind of matters. I mean, making him a duelist is probably better. We did do Gathering Might. Um, just helping him be a duelist. It helps against big beasts and other heroes. He's already a pretty good duelist. Okay, Sorcerer. Conduit, Flamestorm. Was not impressed with Piercing Bolts. Uh, Zinch. Not happening right now. Going Experience is probably good. Getting a Bard can be good open field, but I kind of don't want to waste a point. Just wait on Manticore. So let's go with Power Sap here. Was that the correct Wait, call that I need Slanesh? Not really, but that's okay. You need a boon. 
Um, yeah, we should just hand these off with this Bring dude. ruin. Because he's going to be, the, like, the main army that runs up. By the so, Eldritch, I see. Moving. I don't know why I had him separate. But it, but Go it. now. That also, in case For I have chaos. a lightning strike or something. We're just trying to basically level this dude up just to chill for now. Um, I foresee destruction. Research rate, I guess. Where are we going to now? Research they will see the power. Where did the flies? Uh, okay, Infernal March. Alright, nice. How are we looking on time? Okay, so we're at about 40 minutes, so we got pretty close in. I'm actually gonna complete the leveling process by next turn anyways. I guess raiding doesn't do anything. All horde buildings? I guess that's just... That's gotta be just in his army, not like everyone. Okay. Got all that done. Diplomacy. Lord of the Asray, your words and heart are hot. VCs, we're getting up to 800. Ready. Welcome, brother. And we're working towards 800, and they still won't give us any more than a non aggro. Templehof does not like us. We're with almost everybody. Clan Scryer. Okay, the rats. Trying to get to be our friends. Clan Molder. Master of the, an alliance? Yes, yes. I'm gonna do that. You know, they're getting close to 800 as well. Verminous. I don't remember what concept speak, is. Speak. Let's talk. My technocrat. We talk instead of fight kill, yes? Make a deal pact with Scryer. Fine. Okay, so give me a little bit of money. That's hilarious. They wouldn't do anything <laughs> um, at first. Okay. Quick, we talk instead of fight kill, yes? How can you best serve Clan Moors? Yeah, I mean, I really don't want to fight Quick. I don't even remember why the hell I'm going down here, honestly. I think I just need to, like... Were there... There might be that those little dwarfs down here, but I don't, at any rate, I don't care about Queek. I don't need to fight Queek. Um, do I have to fight the Greenskins? I don't think I have to fight the Greenskins. I think I just need to make sure those little dwarfs aren't down here. Let me see. How many dwarf? It says they have eight settlements. God bless. Cockroaches, man. Freaking everywhere. Alright, um... So there's one, two, three, four. They've killed all of them over here. So they have eight, so they have four settlements somewhere. So it could be down here. Could also be over here. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try to befriend Queek, because then he can start once again taking over stuff for us. What? Brave to approach me, head taker of Moors. Should I kill, slay you? Sure. What you right. Slay? Yes. Stop! No! What else? No. Pirates of Sartosa. The Queen of Tides! Sure. The swordfish is ready to sail. What do you want? Uh, now, one issue with this is, like we saw last time, if I make too many allies, it's going to force me to fight some people that I may not otherwise want to fight. I'm asking for money. It's like, who cares? Just a done deal. Yeah, 
guess. Ten thousand. Want to slit throat? I mean, she only has that one property. I don't even know why I'm allying with her. <clears throat> Not likely. Tony has got stuff down here. Dude. God. I'm never going to finish this campaign, man. All right. Who, where are we going? Sartorial. Okay. So we're just sitting here chilling, I believe, just waiting on this. And if they come out on me, so be it. I think we beat them open field probably. It's just... I thought last episode that we could not, but I mean, this is like, wait, is it walled or not? Okay, it's not walled. Ten units. Nope. Twenty-eight. Twelve on twenty-eight. I just. I mean, yeah, like it's really strong, but I'm just not no. sure if we can. It's these right here are the problem. I think we just gotta wait on trolls. Okay, so we're gonna chill with that. Who else have we? We moved Archeon, right? Start. Archeon's moved. Sartorial's chilling. Peace. How are? Sorry, I forgot about green skins. How? Okay. You've come for green. Kind of getting on with the green skins. Really, kind of just anyone that like doesn't completely hate me. I need to try to be their friend just to get out of my way, so I can go kill the dwarves and the Bretonians. Tier five, waiting on this stuff. Okay, public orders fine. Once again, I think we're waiting on this just until Sartorial cleans that stuff up and then he can come over here and deal with that. There's nothing nothing to do here. Okay. And that's going to be it for this episode. We'll just kind of see what happens here at the end. Now, it, the turn timer, the thing is, like, at the very, like, near kind of the end game like this, the turn timers, like, crushers, not going to matter that much because, like, all of the minor factions have already been absorbed into most of the major factions, or at least a lot of them have been. There's just a lot of stuff going on on the map, you know? Okay, so he does want to come out and fight me. Uh, well, I don't want to do it in raiding stand. Do I? Yeah, we're we're winded. I think I'm gonna retreat. If he chases me, he'd probably run back in his little town though. But if he chases me, then we can fight him.
Necrarch Brotherhood. It's just kind of a reality of this game with Mortal Empires. And that's part of why, like, if it's a New World faction, um, I like Vortex Campaign more in general, just because, like, you can actually close it out in a more, like, reasonable time frame. And there aren't as many factions, so you don't have to, like, worry about people on the other side of the world doing stuff. military lines with them. That could get me in trouble, though. Like, what elves might come out after me, but... They did save me earlier. I have not forgotten. You gook. Always got time to... I could try to vassal some of these small factions. What do you want? Care if about them. Well, they're at war with a lot of my potential allies, so I don't know if we want to mess with that. Probably not. Soul Smashers, though. I'm in charge. I'm already friends with them. It's just like the vassalization. It's not happening. Speak. Why do you guys not like me? Why are y'all bunch of haters? Straight to business. Where shall I'll we raid free. next? The longships are ready. Defensive alliance, maybe Norska. Champions for the masters have surely fated. Still this won't meeting. do a defensive alliance, what even with seven hundred. That's unbelievable. Now, you are here, here with my permission. We're at war with the dark elves, so. I don't know. I could try to get friends with the Dark Elves, maybe. Hornet. Greetings, thing. I really need to vassalize these guys again. The they were, the it was so much money. It's great. Clan Wolf. Treat it in. Clan Scryer. I really Make need to save them. Fast. I'm busy. How much am I getting off that vassal? Eh, not bad, actually. 2200 We have a lot of bonuses to vassal money, I think. Thou darest. Welcome, brothers. I'm ready to cast off this. Okay. Anyways, we'll get back at it next time. So we're going to continue our march south. I'm not sure who we're killing next. Maybe Wamiya. I need to look and see where those special towns are at the I think Guamia might be one. Um, the Black Temple place or whatever o over here, I'm pretty sure, is one. Um, I know this is one. None of them give you special creatures, like the potential for this one. Um, but they do give you a lot of money. Not that like money's a huge issue right now, but if I really wanted to max out the credit card and like turn all of these into 20 stacks, that would help me you go even dare. faster. So, like, money is kind of a thing. But, anyways, we'll get back at it next time. So, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, I appreciate it. Be sure to come by. Um, check me out on Twitch if you'd like, or at least show some support with a follow or a subscribe if you have a couple of seconds. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well on YouTube. It'll give you notifications whenever I release episodes. I'm going to try to get a regimented schedule. I'm going to upgrade that or update that soon on the channel, but I think I'm going to try to release an episode around 1 p.m. every day. One or, I'm gonna try to do, see if I can do two episodes. When the school semester starts, we'll see how long I can keep up with that. Um, Cause I am gonna be teaching three classes most likely and that's about three weeks out. So it'll be at least one per day, but I'm gonna do my best to do two per day. Um, check out the rest as well. We have probably over 40 campaigns on the channel. We're constantly adding more. So if you know, you're up to date on this one, I've 
currently doing a Norska one as well. And like I said, I'm about to add in um, Lizardmen, Dwarfs, and Wood Elves. And I've had people asking about um, Tomb Kings. I have people asking about almost everything. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But that's the immediate stuff that we're going to be doing. But we have tons and tons of older stuff as well. Um, there's still a lot of fun to watch. So check it all out. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.